wherever the term salary comes here for that we should not consider da salary means basic pay da and commission is not part of salary means for calculation of salary wherever it is necessary we should not consider da so whenever they are mentioned in less than 10 lakh so 7.5% of salary is to be considered for the calculation warm welcome to fifth sem bba students we are discussing the subject called income tax and the chapter is income from salary i am professor rajesh l r from department of commerce and management from vidyashram first grade college temple of excellence mysuru in our previous sessions we have discussed about certain meanings of income from salary taxable allowances in taxable allowances fully taxable allowance partially taxable allowance and exempted allowance and even the perquisites now let us take some problems and we'll come to know that one how the salary is, will be calculated taxable amount of salary will be calculated actually the first problem what we have here 5 lakh see they have not mentioned anything after the amount here so it is per annum 5 lakh per annum i am receiving salary 5 lakhs per annum da not forming part of salary means for retirement benefit and for other calculation wherever the term salary comes here for that we should not consider da hra hra is i have received 1 lakh 20 per annum from my employer and i am paying rent actually 1 lakh 50 thousand per annum and i am residing in chennai so if it is chennai means it is nothing but metropolitan city if it is a metropolitan city then 50 percent of salary will be taken for the hra calculations and cca fully taxable medical allowance fully taxable 300 per month 300 into 12 and 200 into 12 this is how we have to calculate now let us enter into the problem here solution salary they are given directly 5 lakhs per annum so write directly 5 lakhs per annum da 20000 directly we can write it here 20000 cca 300 into 12 so it will be 3600 and medical allowance 200 into 12 so it will be 2400 and hra so working note number 1 HRA received, HRA received from the employer is 1,20,000 less least of the following, less least of the following. So first one, A, HRA received 1,20,000. Rent I paid 1,50,000. 10% of salary, salary means year, salary means basic pay, DA and commission, basic pay is 5 lakhs, DA nil, commission nil in this problem, so salary will be 5 lakhs, salary will be 5 lakhs, so 10% means 5 lakh into 10 by 100 so it be 50,000 1 lakh next 50 percent of salary because I'm residing in Chennai 5 lakh into 50 by 100 so it will be 2 lakh 50 2 lakh 50,000 in these three whichever is less so the 1 lakh so 20,000 will be taxable HRA so I have received 1 lakh 20 actual HRA is 1 lakh 20 I have paid rent 1 lakh 50 less 10 percent of salary 50,000 so it will be 1 lakh and I am residing in Chennai so 50 percent of salary salary is 5 lakh into 50 by 100 2 lakh in these three the less amount is 1 lakh remaining amount is taxable so now HRA working note number one 
it will be 20,000. 5 lakh, 5 lakh 20, 5 lakh 23, 5 lakh 25, 5 lakh 26, 5 lakh 46,000 is my gross salary. Standard deduction is 50,000. Taxable will be 4 lakh 96,000. 4 lakh 96,000 is the taxable amount of salary. This was our first problem. It is, it is very simple and it is very easy to calculate and even to understand the calculation of HRA. Now, we are entering into the next problem. I am Mr. Ganesh. I am working in LMS company. It is in Mumbai. So, metropolitan city. So, now 30,000 into 12. 30,000 into 12. So, it will be 3,60,000 is fully taxable. 70% of basic salary, that is 3,60,000 into 70 by 100 so it will be 2 lakh 52,000 which is fully taxable and it is not part of salary means for calculation of salary wherever it is necessary we should not consider DA. CCA 500 per month 500 into 12 so it will be 6,000 is fully taxable. I am getting traveling allowances 600 per month out of that I am using 300. So 600 minus 300. So it will be 300 into 12. 3600 is taxable. Entertainment allowance 1600. 1600 into 12. 19,200 is fully taxable. Bonus equal to two months salary here. So 30,000 into two, 30,000 into two, it will be 60,000. And I've received medical reimbursement of 60,000. The treatment was taken in private hospital. So 60,000 minus 15,000 exempted. So 45,000 is taxable. And I'm receiving children education allowance 800 per month and for two children exempted up to 100 rupees per month per child. So 2400 exempted 15% of salary contributed to RPF employees contribution is, is considered for the salary and employees contribution will be deducted under section 80C and next water bill 8000 fully taxable electricity bill. 5000 fully taxable and next 2400 under section 16 sub clause 3 it is deducted as professional tax 2400 now 30000 is per month my salary 30000 into 12 so it will be 360000 70% of 360000 into 70 by 100 so it will be 2 lakh 52,000 CCA 500 into 12 6,000 education alliance 800 into 12 into 2 19,200 100 into 12 into 2 2400 is deducted and the remaining is taxable. So 1716,800. Entertainment allowance 1600 into 12, 19,200. Bonus 30,000 into 2, 60,000. And next one medical reimbursement. Here I received 60,000, less exempted up to 15,000, 45,000 is taxable. Traveling allowance 600 into 12, 7,200. Utilize it 300 into 12, 3,600. So remaining 3,600 is taxable. Employer contribution to RPF, 15% of salary, 15% of salary means year, salary means basic pay, DA, 
and commission. My basic pay is 3,60,000. DA is not part of salary, so it will be nil. I have not received any commission. So my salary for calculation will be 3,60,000 3,60, into 15 by 100. So it will be 54,000. So now salary, 15% of salary is 54,000. And up to 12% of salary is exempted. 3,60,000 into 12 by 100. That is nothing but 43,200 is exempted. Remaining 10,800 is taxable. Whatable paid by the employer, 8,000 is taxable. The electricity bill paid by the employer, 5,000 is taxable. So now my gross salary will be, my gross salary will be 5 lakh, 6 lakh 12, 6 lakh 18,000, 35, 36,000. So 6 lakh 54,000, 60 plus 1 lakh 5, 1 lakh 8,000, 600. 1 lakh 8600, 7 lakh 62600. So my amount will be a 7 lakh 62000, 7 lakh 62600, 7 lakh 72, 7 lakh 80000, 7 lakh 62, 7 lakh 72, 7 lakh 80, 7 lakh 85, 7 lakh 86400. In that one, standard deduction is 50000 deduction and 2000 professional tax so 7 lakh 86400 minus 52400 so it will be 0 0 6 minus 2 4 8 3 so 7 lakh 34000 so 7 lakh 34000 is the taxable salary in the hands of employee or associate this was the problem what we had the third problem we have here I have received salary 15,000 per month. So 15,000 into 12. So it will be 1,80,000. DA is 1,250 per month. 1,250 into 12. So it will be 15,000 fully taxable. Entertainment allowance 1,000 into 12. So 12,000. And next one. Employer and employee contributed to recognized provident fund 24,000 each. So now here they have not mentioned anything. Vertical interest from provident fund is 9.5 percent per annum up to 9.5. It is exempted. So the total amount whatever interest received will be exempted here. Above 9.5 percent is taxable. City compensatory alliance 200 into 12. So 2,400 medical alliance 10,000 is fully taxable. Unfurnished house by the employer in a town population less than 10 lakh. So whenever they are mentioned less than 10 lakh, so 7.5 percent of salary is to be considered for the calculation. The fair rent of the house is 30,000 per annum. Employer charges 500 per month. The house is owned by the employer. The employer has employed for him a sweeper, rupees 200 per month and 750, 200 for the sweeper and 750 for the servant. Let us calculate now one by one. Salary is 180. DA 15,000. Entertainment allowance 12,000. City compensatory 2400, medical allowance is 10,000, employees contribution to RPF in excess of 12% of salary means my, if it is above 12% it is taxable, my salary is here 180,000 and the amount whatever it is contributed by the employer is 24,000 that is 2400 excess amount is there that is taxable. Sweeper 2400 is taxable and servant 9000 is taxable, concession rent 
say concession rent is nothing but a rent 7.5 percent of salary that is basic salary CCA and all other allowances whatever we have here so 15,000 7.5 percent into 1 lakh 92 2 lakh 2 2 lakh 2000 2 lakh 2400 into 7.5 by 100 so it will be 15,330 out of that rent charged by employer 500 into 12 so it will be 6,000 that should be deducted so 9,330 is the taxable RFA, taxable unfurnished accommodation. So, concession rent is working note number 1. So, 9,330. So, total will be 2,42,530. Standard deduction is 50,000. The taxable salary will be a 1,92,530. This is how we have to calculate the income from salary. So, go through this one and analyze and do it properly. Next one, the fourth problem, 48,000 per month. So, 48,000 into 12. So, it will be uh, 5 lakh, 96, 5 lakh 76,000, 5 lakh 76,000, 1,200 into 12. So, it will be 14,400, 2,000 per month, 2,000 into 12. So, it will be 24,000. HRA is 3000, we have to calculate and rent paid is 6000 and the house is in Mangalore, so non-metropolitan city. So it will be 40% of salary, 40% of salary, bonus 20,000, fully taxable, children education allowance 400 per month per ch child year. So 400 into 12 into 2 minus 100 into 12 into 2 medical alliance 1000 into 12 12000 is fully taxable convenience alliance 200 they are given i have used 150 so 200 minus 150 so 50 50 into 12 600 is taxable Yet contribution to 15% of salary. So we have to calculate a small car. So small car means for 1800 and driver is provided means 900. So totally 2700 into 12. Basic salary 576000 DA 14400 CCA 24000 Education allowance 400 into 12, 9,200. It is a HRA received is 36,000. Actual HRA 36,000. Rent paid is 72 minus 59,040, 12,960. 40% salary because non metropolitan city. To lack that in these three, whichever is less 12,960, 36 minus 12,960, 23,040 is the taxable HRA. So next we have here bonus fully taxable, medical allowance fully taxable, convenience allowance 600 is taxable, contribution made by the employer 15% of salary is 88,560, exempted up to 12% of salary. 70,848, 17,712 is taxable. Car facility for car it is 1,800, for driver it is 900. So totally 2,700. So 21,600, 10,832,400 is taxable in the hands of the employee. So my gross salary is 7,27,352. In that one, the standard allowed deduction is 50. Taxable salary is 6,77,352. This is the fourth problem and it is very simple. Understand the concept and solve it that one. Namaste to all 5th SEM BBA students. We have solved income from salary, four problems, go through that one with supports for your examination and future benefits. Thank you.